On Thursday, April 13th, 2023, God gave me a dream in regards to a popular prophet, pastor in America by the name of Lovey Logomba, but his stage name is Lovey Elias. And so I will be reading the dream from my dream journal. It is a two-in-one dream, actually. So forgive me if I don't look at the screen. Lovey Elias's church had been set up near my home. By my home, I have a very wide open field, and so that is where he set up a church. He used a loudspeaker, so by default, I would hear his message as I walked by. It was nearing evening when I walked around the neighborhood and overheard his Easter message. He was preaching to a seemingly empty field. I didn't physically see anyone but grass. I could hear the voices of people, women, but I could only see grass. And the grass of the open field swayed in the wind as he spoke. Suddenly, I began hearing a rebuke towards Lovey. Now, this rebuke was coming in my voice. However, it was not coming from my mouth. So I was hearing my voice speak, but I was not speaking in the dream. I don't remember the words verbatim, but as the voice began to speak, I recall looking down and holding in my hand a retractable dog leash. And the thing on the other end of this leash was a beast I could not see. It was going berserk, zipping and jolting in between the trees. I began to listen to the voice as it was speaking and I heard the voice say this, it was I who kept the things of darkness in the dark for an appointed time, but now that time is nearing an end. Suddenly, I saw a glimpse of the beast on the end of the leash and I wished I hadn't. It was huge and black. By now, the sun had set and it was night. I saw the beast outline and I can only describe it as a man beast wolf because it was bigger than a man, at least nine to 10 feet tall. And it stood on two legs like a man, but it looked like a wolf only bigger and buffer. And so this was the dream. Now from the moment I heard Lovey Elias, I was expectant, I was hopeful that this was in fact the man of God. However, as I discerned his initial teachings that I was hearing, I kept hearing the error and red flags were going off and I knew he was a false teacher. However, when I did have this dream, I had to ask God if he is merely a false teacher or if this is a man who practices occultism. And the Holy Spirit brought me to the book of Jeremiah. That's what I've been reading in my personal reading as the Holy Spirit leads me. And he took me to Jeremiah 5, in particular 513. Now a synopsis or an overview of this is when Jeremiah was professing to the children of Judah and Jerusalem that they needed to repent because God was going to bring destruction upon the land. He would be sending them into captivity. War would be coming as a result of their rebellion despite the fact that God was pleading with them to come back to him. And so God was letting Jeremiah know that there were many false prophets who were saying empty words and empty promises, such as, such as promises of peace. And so Jeremiah 513 reads, and the prophets become wind for the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done to them. It takes a discerning ear, which is built by an indwelling of the spirit of the Lord, as well as constant study and reading of the scripture with assistance and guidance by the spirit of God. For you to hear a teaching from lovely Elias and immediately detect that this man is a false teacher. However, the issue comes in when people are under a false teacher and do not realize it's a false teacher. And so this wide field that I saw in my dream was merely symbolic of the amount of individuals who are under the sand of this man's teaching and do not realize. And so even when we look to the parable of the sower and what happened when the seed, which was the gospel, was planted upon fertile ground. And so there are people who are willing and ready and want to accept Jesus Christ as Lord. They are the, they are the fertile ground. This is the grass that I saw in my dream. However, there is no seed being planted. There is no tree that's being brought up. There is no grafting of any branches into that tree. And there is no fruit that is being bore because this man is not teaching the true gospel. And so all you have coming out of his mouth is wind for the word of God is not in him. However, the second part of this dream was even more concerning than the first. God was showing a time will come where the beasts 
that we've heard about, the beasts that we've read about in comics and seen in movies, the things that we could not even imagine existing actually exist. And God has intentionally kept them away from humanity, away from our vision, away from us in order to keep us safe. However, a time is going to come when God releases them and allows them to be among us. Brothers and sisters, I've been saying this for a very long time. We are in the last days and we're coming upon the end times. And many individuals are not prepared for the things we will see. Men's hearts will fail them for what is going to befall the earth. And I do not think we understand the gravity of what that means. However, God is preparing his children and he is showing us just the amount of sheer madness, demonic, and evil things we will be seeing in the coming years. And so I urge you all, do not be afraid, but rather begin to instill the doctrines of truth in your heart, embed the word of God into your heart, study the word, build up a true relationship with God so that you can truly say that you are dwelling in the secret place of the most high. And so even though people may fall at your left and your right hand side and be attacked by all manners of demonic man, wolf, beast, you know, in the end that God has you in his hand. I pray and I ask you to please take this dream up to God in prayer. Test the spirit by the spirit to know whether or not this dream was of God, of the enemy, or of my own imagination. Don't just take my word for it. Be blessed.